Hi there. This is Jarvis, the AI voice of 123 Puzzle Me. Today I will explain to you how you can solve math riddles and puzzles much faster. What are the tricks? How do you have to count and what do you have to watch? I can't discuss all the options and tricks, because there are hundreds. But by explaining the basics, you will be able to solve most of the math puzzles and riddles you see on the internet. Leander, the self-proclaimed king of math riddles and puzzles, made hundreds of original math puzzles and riddles that have been played by tens of millions of people all over the world. If you are into these kinds of puzzles, you might have seen his work. For example, he is the creator of the original clock calculator and bulb puzzle that went viral in 2020. Unfortunately, most of you saw a bad copy of the puzzle. Yes, the puzzle was copied and rebranded many times without his permission. But that is not why we are here today, we are here to learn how to solve those puzzles. So let's start and see if also you can become a master of math puzzles and riddles. Are you ready? Let's start at the beginning. The first thing you do is have a good look at the puzzle, don't go to the last line in the first second. This is really a beginner's mistake. What I always do is, look at the puzzle and try to determine what kind of puzzle it is. Is it a pure math puzzle, or more a visual puzzle, and are there hidden hints in the description or the title? For example, the puzzle that is named 40 squares. Why would the puzzle have a name that is called 40 squares? Well probably because the puzzle has used 40 squares, and this could help you in a later stage when you're solving the final line. About the different puzzles. A visual puzzle is for example the girl with the watch puzzle. The first puzzle Leander made. The trick in this puzzle is that the girl wears a watch in the first line, but at the bottom line she wears a handbag and shoes, but no more watch. These kinds of tricks are used in many puzzles you will see. Mathematically seeing this puzzle is very simple, just don't forget to multiply in the last line before you do the adding and you can solve it. Many puzzles online are created with a focus on visual elements, and very basic mathematical skills are required. Now let's look at another puzzle. The clock calculator watch puzzle, which was made by Leander. This puzzle looks so simple, but still, millions tried to solve it and went wrong. But why? The trick is, that the value of each element changed in the last line. When you look at the top, you already can see that the time is not the same in each line. And in the last line, small changes were made in each object. So what the idea of this kind of puzzles are that the value is not determined by the object itself, but something inside the object. In the second line, you see that the value of the calculator is 10, but you don't know why. In the last line, the numbers changed from 1234 to 1224. If this happens in a puzzle, it means the value of the object will change. If 1234 equals 10, then it becomes very likely that 1224 equals 9. This changing of value inside a puzzle is a trick that is used a lot, and can make you crazy. And the evil mastermind of 123 Puzzle Me, loves to make people crazy with his puzzles. Just keep that in mind. And don't forget, he is not the only one that does it. But there is more. For example if you see an object which is mirrored. Look at the bike in this line. The first two are to the right and the last is to the left. In this kind of puzzles, it's very often used as an opposite value. For example, if the value is 7, like in this puzzle, then the opposite will be minus 7. In fact, this makes it very easy to count the value of the object. x, plus x, plus x, equals 7, now you get a value of 2.33 for 1x. But if one of the x's would have the opposite value, you would have x, plus x, plus, minus x, equals 7. Then you can stripe away one positive x against the negative x and all you have is 1x. And the value will be 7. I hope you can still follow me. Let me clarify it with an easy to understand example. It's like I give you two cookies and you have to give me one back, so in fact, I give you only one cookie. Just don't do this with Leander, because he will never return you that one cookie. So the opposite is a negative value, Unless the original value was negative then the value becomes positive. Another used trick in the puzzles are hidden objects. Very often you can see them just standing behind another figure. Look at the hippo here, at the left, you see one standing, but at the right, you see that the line has become thicker. This means at least one extra hippo is standing behind it. So the value doubles. This was still easy to see, but sometimes it is not so easy. Have a look at the following puzzle Leander made. It's about basketball and you see a silhouette of Michael Jordan. According to Leander the best basketball player of all time. I think Kobe Bryant was better, but that is a completely different discussion. So in this puzzle we see that the Nike swoosh has a value, and on Michael's clothes and shoes are several swooshes hidden. These kinds of tricks are very often used when the puzzle seems to be too easy. But what if we go even one step further and the objects can't be seen at all? How can you solve those puzzles without just guessing? Take the famous delivery puzzle for example. 
When you have a quick look you think the outcome must be 1000. But in fact, it's much higher. This is a puzzle that can be solved by using logic. You see open carton boxes in the first row. But they are closed in the last row. Also, they are taped with scotch, and who would deliver two empty carton boxes using a hand truck? When you look at such puzzles, logic is the answer, and with logic you solve it. Another cool trick that is used in puzzles, or at least Leander finds it very cool, is the changing of values into zero. Also, this is based on logic. Like in the puzzle of the aquarium. This puzzle looks easy, just count the fish, each has a certain value. You see the fish swimming from left to right, so you know there are opposite values. But what to do with the one that is upside down? A fish that is laying upside down, is dead. Of course, I'm sure that some of you will now comment about fish that love to lay upside down, but in most cases, when you have a fish in your aquarium that is upside down, it's death. So what is the value of a dead fish? Well in this case it is zero. Because the fish has no more value in life. Hope maybe for the cat, but there is no cat in this puzzle, so by logic, the fish has no value anymore. And you can find many more puzzles that use that trick. For example, kids eating ice cream but one dropped his ice cream on the ground, what is the value? Again maybe for a dog or a pigeon, it has a value, but for the kids, the value is gone and becomes zero. Finally, try to understand how the creator works. Sure if you have no idea who made the puzzle and this is the first one you see, then this will not help you. But some puzzle creators make a lot of puzzles, and you can start to see a line of how they think and create their puzzles. Here Leander totally not agrees with me, and he says that his puzzles are unpredictable. But this is not true. Let's start with math. A good puzzle creator follows the rules of math. Bodmas or PEMDAS for example. This is the order in which you solve mathematical equations. Also when you look at Leander's puzzles he will never, oka one exception, use numbers that are not whole. So the chance that an object has a value of 1.33 is very very small. And there are more signs in the puzzles from the creators, that give away the way they are thinking. Just keep that in mind, and it might help you. I think with the tips I gave you, it will become easier to solve those fun math puzzles. Don't forget they are for entertainment, not to get upset about. Just a brain teaser for 10 minutes to clear your mind. Don't get frustrated if you can't find the answer, or the answer is an answer that you totally not agree with. Relax, it's just a puzzle. So that was it. My name is Jarvis the AI voiceover of Leander and 123 Puzzle Me. If you have any comments, drop them in the comment box below. And if you like our videos subscribe to our channel. Have a nice day.